Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my sketchbook challenge I did in November. Oh, what? It's it's also Take Your Birds to Work Day. Oh, okay. In that case, today we're heading outside to tour my 30 day sketchbook challenge. In November, I challenged myself to draw and paint a random bird every day. I had mixed results, but I'll show you my paintings and let you see how my skills evolved over the month. These are all pulled from the Sibley Guide to Birds book, second edition by David Sibley. I got this for my birthday the month before and it's one of my favorite books. I highly, highly recommend it if you're a birder or at all interested in birds. It has tons of great illustrations and so much information. Definitely check the description if you'd like a link to the book. And with that, let's get started. I decided to do it in this Canton watercolor sketchbook. It's eight and a half by five and a half. These are my absolute favorite. I'll link them in the description below. So this is day one. This is a Buller Shear water. And at this point I'm freaking out because this painting took me three hours. And so like day one, I just had to like immediately warm up really hard and try to like get my skills up to where I wanted them to be. But day one, this was so challenging. You know, his wingspan just has so many feathers, but I really love this wing. This wing was okay, <laughs> but that's day one, so whatever. Ignore this one, this is day eight. So this is a wild turkey and you know, this is like November, 2022. So I'm like, why couldn't I have gotten this closer to Thanksgiving? <laughs> um, but he is so hard because he has these like iridescent feathers and he's got these like mottled feathers and he has like all these different like segments um, of feathers. And then has like obviously weird face. <laughs> and so I was really worried and by day two, I was just like, I should stop painting. Um, and then to top it off, my phone ran out of storage because I never clear out my old videos and I record so much. <laughs> and so this was like so stressful. I was ready to give up like day two. And, but I really liked the grass in the front and this ended up working out pretty well. So overall I was pretty happy with it. Day three, this is like one of my favorite paintings, hands down. It's a white tipped dove. And I just like love this expression where she's like kind of like looking over her shoulder just like, hey. <laughs> but I wanted, since it was a simpler bird, finally, without a lot of markings, I was really excited to kind of get a sketchy, really blocky bird down. And so I think I did that and I just really loved it. And then also this branch, I did this in one brush stroke with a large brush and brown and blue mixed in to the brush. And I honestly loved it. And it's probably the coolest brush stroke <laughs> I've ever made. So I really love this one. This is one of my favorites for sure. So day four, and this is kind of where I started to realize the importance of values because I was not pleased with this painting at all. And then I started laying in these darker reds and then that's kind of when it started clicking and kind of I started understanding values with gouache because darks do tend to dry lighter, lighters tend to dry darker. So this is kind of where I started like getting the vibe of a lot more realistic and kind of like understanding values. Um, and so it started helping a lot. And then at the time I was on TikTok a lot. I don't use social media a lot, but I was considering posting over there. And one of the people I follow over there, I don't follow a lot, was John Stitch. And he's like one of my favorite artists. Um, and so at the time I've been looking at a lot of his work and kind of studying it. And so this is kind of like very inspired by him, but I really love, I, you know, I'm trying to do better for this challenge. So I was like, I'll try another background. And I actually ended up really liking this piece as a whole. So this was really exciting for me. This kind of got me like amped. So day five, this is a Kestrel. And you know, I have been using like really like watery washes at this point. And so this is kind of where I started realizing it. And I was like, I really need to start kind of getting more paint on my brush. But yeah, I don't hate this. I do like it a bit. It's got a very sketched look. I was pretty quick with it. And then it was really silly because I was like, I'll do another background because this one works so well. And then and this one just, it was, <laughs> I don't know what the background is doing, but I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite, but I don't hate it, but you know, okay. This is like one of my favorite feet too. I don't know why. So I realized I have this thing where I hate drawing bird feet. <laughs> um, and so you'll kind of see that throughout this, but that's okay. So this is day six and this is Wilson's warbler. And I think this was a weekend. So it's kind of like, I want to do like a field guide kind of look and a more sketchy sketchbook vibe, you know? So it's kind of like, oh, I'll do the color thing and kind of do multiples. And I don't think it panned out, but I actually really ended up liking this. I really love his colors. He had a lot of yellow, but then his shadows were more kind of olive, almost green. I mean, I really like his beak, little shadow in there to kind of show the mouth. So I really ended up liking these. And so by this point, I 
day seven I got in a vulture I'm a weekend and I really wanted to do a lot more opaque look kind of a matte opaque gouache look and I think it turned out pretty good I really like it if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I did a pencil vulture that took forever but it's super realistic so I was really excited to kind of get a vulture again I like them they're just like weird birds I mean like look at his like fuzzy bald head like how do you <laughs> not love that and he's I don't know they're just really cool and weird um and so I actually really ended up liking this one so at this point I was really kind of excited and I felt like I was making a lot of progress for sure so this is actually wrong so we're gonna go back this is day eight this was a little bunting and I just saw his spots when I picked him and I <laughs> I was so discouraged. So this is where I kind of was like, I'm gonna be a lot more abstract and kind of just get the vibe of a sparrow down as fast as I can. And I think that I did that and I kind of ended up liking this a lot. Kind of just like a vague, very like brown, dusty winter sparrow. Um, I don't know, he's probably not a sparrow, I'm sorry. He's a little bunting. Is that a sparrow? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I should know more about birds cause I spent a month doing this but um I don't so I'm sorry but anyway he's really cute and I ended up not hating that and it's kind of like this is where I got a little bit more like realized the quick fast brush strokes helped a lot to convey feathers so day nine is kind of a radical shift in my challenge because I <laughs> was on YouTube looking for gouache videos and kind of like seeing what other people were doing with it and then I found a video and they're like underpaintings <sighs> and I was like oh my god and I never even thought of this and so then I did an underpainting on this and on this one I did like a light blue because it was a very cool bird um, he is very cool but also a cool temp bird I'm sorry for that he's a gray silky flycatcher and so I did a baby blue underpainting because I wanted to have a really cool tone and then I started you know I had done the bunting and I was doing small brush strokes and so I was like I'm gonna try to do a little more realistic it was a really pretty bird but yeah so I really really love this one so then day 10 I didn't even finish him because I was trying to make him a lot more realistic um, kind of polished look and so I didn't finish him so day 10 I actually did finish this guy and then did this guy so this is why he's like a little more simple but I think he holds up really well this is a western wood peewee and he's super cute he's a flycatcher but I didn't realize at the time that he would be like <laughs> the same shape as the other bird and that he'd kind of be like looking at the other bird and so by the time I finished it I was like I'll just play off and make this look very you know like a vibe and so I think I did that and I ended up this ended up being definitely one of my favorite spreads but like I do do really love those feathers and this is kind of when I started like paying attention to feathers and kind of like realizing how to get them down so this is later but this is day 11 this is a painted red start and this is honestly probably one of my favorite pieces I feel like the red white and black kind of like reminds me of my like punkier days and he's just like kind of cool he's just a pretty bird and I like him with the blue backdrop and also I did an underpainting on this also and I kind of mixed the green and the blue I think I did a blue underpainting on this also since it was a black bird and so I really really like the mix of that and I thought it vibed really nicely and kind of had that look of like an out of focus sky in the background on a nice like clear blue day so this is later I kind of like like this bird so much that I was like I'll save this page and do another page and <laughs> I ended up like sketching him really fast so just ignore him so this is day 12 and I think this is like my second weekend day at this point so this is like a Saturday and I was like I just want to draw something really really quick and so I tried to get him down as fast as possible this is a redheaded woodpecker which is like the most literal name I've ever heard for a bird so he was okay I didn't mind him I, he was fun he's okay but you know this is like me taking like an hour to get this down and then this bird is a night jar and that's basically <laughs> all I can say there were like I landed on a category page for this bird and they were all like night jars and so I chose one and they basically look like the weirdest birds you've ever seen they only eat at night um, and they're just really weird you should look up a night jar and so I was kind of just like so sad that I got such like a difficult bird with so many markings but this came out okay so day 14 this is a red flanked blue tail and I actually really like this one a lot because it is a lot looser it's a lot more sketchy I think I probably only took an hour for this even this was definitely one of my shorter paintings but the fact I was able to like get this down quickly and have it 
you know, looked like a nice little bird sketch, I really, really loved. At this point, you know, I'm kind of like just trying to like truck and still do other things <laughs> with my day. But I did really like him, especially the blue and the orange. He's just, he was really pretty too. So day 15, by this point, you know, I'm like really, really tired of painting birds. <laughs> Almost every day I was like, why did I do this to myself? And so this day I had to run errands that night for some reason. So I was out all night and so I only had like a little bit of time, but I was like, I'm not going to quit. I'm like halfway through, I got to finish this painting. And then the bird I pulled was in and hinga but they are the weirdest looking birds they can swim they have like duck feet paddle feet they have long crane necks they swim underwater they're like the craziest bird and then i was looking at reference photos and all of them were just like the birds eating fish in their giant mouths so i was like kind of just over it and so i was like i'm gonna <laughs> go a little crazy with this one and so I did but I actually ended up <laughs> really liking this one I was trying to paint this as fast as I could I definitely painted this in under an hour you're probably like I can tell um no it's fine but I actually ended up liking it and I also really liked this like pink background because it just felt so unnatural and it was nice to paint this like <laughs> fish body just because it wasn't a bird at this point it wasn't feathers you should definitely look up in hinga fish because it's just them eating giant fishes and it's really truly shocking how big a fish they can fit in their mouth okay so day 16 is back to this and so this is a mexican jay and they are like such pretty birds and this one has like really pretty gradients but i just was really busy at this point i got really discouraged it was like I, this was like one of those days where I was just trying to get a bird down and so I did but I'm grateful I did that I'm grateful that I like painted a bird no matter what I think it teaches you a lot and I'm definitely gonna do a video on like why you should do an art challenge because I it fundamentally changed my skills definitely recommend it to anyone yeah it was just like one of those I'm just gonna do something so I think that was important and I might also do a video of like how to fix a painting because I feel like it was like a painting gone wrong and so I might do a video on like how to like touch up your paintings and kind of like fix them so stay tuned he might have a second heyday okay so going back so then day 17 i felt so bad about my other blue bird <laughs> that this day i got a blue mockingbird and i looked them up and they were just like so pretty that i was like you know i'm gonna kind of take the time and like make this as good as um some of the other ones like the red star you know like this guy and so <sighs> I painted him and I love this guy. He is such a pretty bird. He's a really, really cool bird. He's just a like blue mockingbird. Like, how crazy is that? So he's like one of my favorites. And I have a time lapse for this, I believe. And I might post him because I just really like him. And I really like his eye. Um, it did help a lot that he was kind of like a monochromatic bird. So that definitely helped. But yeah, I really, really love this one. But day 18, because I had spent so long painting the mockingbird by day 18, I was like trying to still do things in my day. This is an Albert's tohi and he's kind of like another like simple brown bird and so i wanted to kind of do like a minimalistic like sketch vibe and i actually ended up really liking this this probably took me under an hour this one was really fast so also you know this is in november which is when thanksgiving is and i had the week off um, my husband took the week off and so we were gonna like have vacation and so it was really poor planning on my part to do a painting challenge around the holidays but i did it and so this was the friday the last day of work and so so by this point I was like mm, I'm like done I'm gonna just like paint these birds so this day is the first day of vacation and I picked a, another like sheer water and I kind of just was over it and so my husband actually chose this one and it's a snowy owl and it's super cute but it was also a very like modeled bird but I do love the owl eyes and so like it was these little things here and there where I'd like pick up on how to draw birds better because I was kind of like you know getting the shadow to kind of show his recessed eyes was super helpful you know it it's not like every piece was like a finished painting that i loved but it like taught me a lot quickly and that's kind of the point of them the challenges i think so this is where it gets really sparse <laughs> and i'm sorry this is a black necked stilt and i like this bird because it just looked fancy <laughs> and it was just a really pretty bird i was really panicky about having a white bird i was really excited to kind of like focus on my shapes and kind of like portray a white bird because they are super hard so that was really nice and i loved it so then this is in the middle of va my vacation at this point and so i'm just like super stressed and so i painted this this is a storm petrol and 
And yeah, at this point I was like, I'm just gonna do a small, <laughs> small bird. My plan was to like fill up a little square like every day during my vacation since I was trying to like draw quickly. So you can see I started one and then by the day I like didn't finish it. So this is a point where I like stopped drawing. Well, no, no, I did one more painting. So on the 22nd, I did this one, and this is probably maybe my favorite. This is a mangrove cuckoo, and I really, really like this one. Um, I did the underpainting, as you can see, and I was trying to do it really quick, and I kind of went back to like really thin, watery washes, and so it kind of made this like almost old photo vibe, like a sepia kind of look or something, but it worked really well, and I like the warmth it gave this piece. And then also, like, I love the perfect amount of detail right here that's still really simple, and and then kind of like this is really like vague and loose so it kind of like kind of focuses it so yeah I just like absolutely loved this one so I felt like you know at this point my skills were way better than when I started I mean this is like I mean maybe not like way way about way better but I was like way faster like this took me three hours this was probably an hour or two at most and that's including drawing um, and so it definitely helped me get way way faster helped me understand so many more fundamentals like I cannot recommend challenges enough but yeah so I really really like this guy so then I stopped painting I'll, I'll just be real with you guys I stopped painting because it was like Thanksgiving and stuff and then my husband's birthday is like right after Thanksgiving <laughs> um, so yeah I stopped painting because sometimes that happens but I was like I got this far I'm not gonna just stop painting <laughs> So then I decided to paint all of the birds that I had missed at the start of December, like right away. So then I painted them all together in one piece. Gold-billed tern, great-tailed grackle, south polar skua, golden eagle, California condor, Anna's hummingbird, the cutest bird on the planet, probably a horned lark. And my favorite bird, the red-breasted nuthatch. But yeah, so this took about two or three days. So I was kind of drawing like two birds a day, painting two birds a day. I think my favorite piece was, <laughs> ended up being the condor. And you know, this condor face probably took me like 30 minutes. And so at this point, I was like really proud of myself because I felt like I had kind of like really started to understand gouache and things were just going a lot better, especially like the golden eagle. I think that turned out pretty well. Um, I love that I was able to get the hummingbird down in such few brush strokes and, you know, really simple shapes. I think my red breasted nuthatch was really, you know, was realistic, had really nice values. And so by this point, this was kind of almost second nature. I had found like routines that were super easy and comfortable. And so it, it makes coming to paint like really easy for you and really like comforting. I really love this guy who is just really simple and kind of portraying these really simple pieces quickly just taught me so much but yeah so this is my final bird challenge and I feel like these birds most of these birds this is like a brown bird and it just is like a brown bird so I did what I could please excuse me for that um but to go from like this which took me like three hours which was just so stressful I was like trying to figure things out and it was just so difficult to this where it was like pretty effortless I could like finally like get in the zone and kind of just relax and just paint. Yeah, so this was my drawing challenge. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload my video about why you should do an art challenge. I That will be coming out very soon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.